The case of gasping garbage is the second story that is included in your final exam. Uh, it was talking about Nell Fossey and Drake Doyle. They are in grade five and they were really clever. They were science detectives with always right answers. Uh, so whenever anybody has any problem regarding science, they go back to Nell and Drake and they help them. Uh, they could solve a lot of problems, including the problem that we are talking about in this story, which is the gasping garbage. Um, uh, the genre of this story is realistic fiction. When we say realistic fiction, it comes from real and fiction. So we become mixed. Is it imaginary or real? Realistic fiction, it talks about people and events or problems or events in the story. Now, these people or those people and those events are not real, but the people who are who are acting in the story they act and talk like real people and the event uh could happen with anybody of us in the real life so is it necessary that we we have those characters nell fossey and rick doyle no we don't have them in our life i mean in reality but could we have them? Yes, we could. We have a clever students. We have science detectives. So it is not something coming from the space. So realistic fiction is talking about events and characters that could, the characters could be real. The events could happen with anybody of us in this life. So it is not a, a, a story came from the space. It is not imaginary story it talks about fairy tales. No, it is a normal story that could happen with anybody in this world okay but it didn't happen it's not necessary necessary to happen but it could vocabulary to know number one analysis analysis means to separate anything into parts either uh, an idea uh, an information, a problem, or any object, uh, you just uh, break it into parts or elements to find out what is it made of or to discover something related to it. So you just, you have a big thing or a big problem, you need to cut it into parts so you can solve it or you can find how did it made or what is it made of. When we say hollow, when we are talking about something that has nothing in it, it has nothing, it is empty, it has only air. So when we say hollow mind, a person who has hollow mind, it means his mind is not working. It has nothing on it, no information, no knowledge, and no thinking, and so on. Identity. Identity is who or what you are. Your identity shows who you are as a person, as a human being. If we are talking about the identity of a thing, not a person, so the identity shows us what something is. So it shows us who the person is or what the thing is. Lecture. Lecture is a talk. It is a planned talk uh, about a specific topic and it happens in front of audience. Microscope is a device with lenses. Why the lenses? Because it helps us to see the small things. So it is for making the small things look larger, especially the small things that we can't see with our eyes directly and we just can't see them with a microscope or through the microscope. Precise, when we are talking about very accurate or correct thing, precise. When I give you a, an information, it is precise. It means it is very accurate. It is 100% correct. Relentless, when you don't give up without giving up, you just try and try and try to reach your goal without giving up. Okay, the characters are Drake Doyle and Nell Fossey as main characters. We have Gabby, Gabby Talberg and we have James Frisco.
Now, the head scientist is Drake Doyle. Okay, his partner is Nell Fossey. Okay, the setting, we have more than one setting. Uh, they were working in Drake's uh, lab or Doyle's lab, and they were working in Gabby's uh, garbage next to the fur furnace, furnace or oven. The problem started when Gabby called Doyle. She called him because she believes that there is a monster in her garbage can. The solution, when Nell Fossey and Drake Doyle went to Gabby's home and they started taking notes and uh, Doyle took notes and Fossey made observations about the problem, then they took the trash can with them to the lab and they made more observations until at the end they knew what was inside the can. What did they find inside the garbage can? They found thrown away yeast and flour. From where they came, the yeast and the flour, they came from uh, Gabby's dad because he was a baker and he was using them while making bread. Okay, the main idea or the theme of the story, number one, hard working is the key to reach to your goal or to achieve your aim or goal or what you plan to do. Number two, never be in a competition unless you are 100% sure that you can do it. Why? Because when we're talking about this. Okay, now uh, Drake and Nell are the science detectives. Gabby, Gabby is the girl who has the problem with the garbage can. James Frisco is a competitor. He competes Drake and Nell. But James... Frisco was not really good as a science detective, so uh, he always loses, he doesn't win. So that's why you need to make sure that you are 100% ready to be in a competition with a person, especially if, the, if this person is stronger than you in the field you are working on. Now Drake and Nell were working on, and James too, they were working on the field of science, but Drake and Nell were way stronger than Frisco. So Frisco wasn't a good competitor because he was not always winning as Drake and Nell were doing. Okay, so never be in a competition unless you are 100% sure that you can do it and you can win. Okay, the last thing, uh, what is the point of view, the POV, uh, or who is telling the story? Is it first person? So one of the main characters is telling the story or another narrator is telling us the story. The point of view, or the POV, is called third person POV. Why do we call it third person? Because the narrator who's telling the story, uh, who's telling us what is happening in the story, isn't one of the main characters. So the narrator, he he's just telling us what is happening in the story. He shows us the thoughts and the feelings of the characters. But this person who's telling the, the story is not one of the main characters. He's not one of the characters even, okay? So point of view is third person narrator. What does it mean? It means the narrator is not one of the characters. He's just showing us the events of the story. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, regarding the case of gasping garbage, uh, because it was not included in your booklets, not uh, booklet one or two or three, so there is uh, no worksheet for it, no comprehension questions and vocabulary questions for it. So, I'm going to prepare one for you. I will also upload it on Edmodo. It is going to be a comprehension worksheet about the case of gas being garbage, uh, vocabulary questions plus comprehension questions. I'll upload it on Edmodo and I'll upload the answer key with it. So check it, answer it by yourself, and then check the answer key. The worksheet that I'm going to prepare regarding the case of gas being garbage is included in your final. So today we revised. 
Moonwalk. Uh, Moonwalk, uh, what is included from Moonwalk, the story itself, you find it on the reading book. If you don't have the reading book, I already put a link for you on the first PowerPoint that I just finished. Uh, and booklet number two, you have uh, the first three pages. Uh, the pages um, that I already wrote, three, four, five. Okay, uh, I answered them with you uh, when we have the exam. Before the exam, I'll upload all the pages that are included. So in case if you don't have the books with you at home, you can see them all online on Edmodo. Okay, the second part that included is the case of gasping, gar gasping garbage. Uh, you need to read the story from the reading book. And because there is there are no comprehension questions, for this story, I will uh, make a worksheet. I will upload it for you. So this worksheet is going to be included in your final. So today we revised the first part for the final exam. Next two classes we are going to complete. Don't forget the listening test. Don't forget the speaking video. Have a nice day. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me. And good luck for all of you.